What's up, YouTube? Sam from Dream Media. I got Grayson in the background there. I don't know if you can see him. I got Jerry and Cl Carlos here. We're doing another 7.1 install in McKinney. Now, uh, this room, as you can see, is dark. It's perfect for a theater. Uh, let me show you a little bit more about it and talk about what we'll be doing today and uh, show you how well this room is set up for what we're trying to do. All right, so today we're doing a 7.1. As you see here, we have the front of the room. Perfect spot for a 133-inch Dragonfly high contrast screen. Uh, so it's got nice wide area, and the room itself is large. I think we're at 15 feet to that first step there, uh, which is perfect for our uh, Epson 4050 projector, 4K. That'll be projecting onto our uh, 133 Dragonfly. On either side of that, we have our Klipsch 6000 Fs. They're tower speakers, and we already have the lines down on the floor, perfect for the floor standing speakers. All right, and then for our center channel, we have the 250 RPW from Klipsch. It'll be a nice center channel. You get all of our uh, audio or our speech. Super nice. Super nice. Hate you. So nice. Uh, what are they? 16. Uh, RC. Yeah. All right, and then in the uh, in ceilings, we have four in ceilings that we're doing. The uh, surrounds and the rears. We're doing the Pro 16 RC in ceiling speakers from Klipsch. Yeah, gonna fill out this room nicely. And then uh, we have the client-owned Klipsch subwoofer. Subwoofer. <laughs> it's the R10 SW uh, that goes in the uh, back corner of the room there behind Jerry. That's the previous generation. Yeah, that's that's the older model. Uh, everything is coming into this really big media closet. Look how spacious this is. We got our home runs and everything, and we're going to be putting our uh, Denon uh, 4500H right here on this shelf. Look at right this shelf. Right here. This one, or do you think we should put it on this no, one? No, I already asked the client. This one. This, this shell. <laughs> and we have permission to drill some holes for our cabling, so it'll look nice. Oh, really? I was just going to take it up. Nope. Drill That's holes, we were told. Drill holes. Luckily, I'm a carpenter. <laughs> we're going to be getting, well, we already got started. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you see here, Jerry's lining up our uh, rear speakers. Uh, the boxes that were put in the wall were uh, off center from each other. They weren't uh, equidistant from the sides. So uh, he's finding out where our stud is and uh, gonna get them as equal as possible. The customer uh, doesn't want drywall damage. So uh, he's gonna have to come back in and since this is a square plate with a round speaker, we already informed the customer of this, but they're gonna have to go in and uh, repaint an edge or two uh, that might lie outside the speaker. But uh, we're gonna try and cover up as much of that as possible. Surround left, surround back left, surround back right, and surround right. Jerry's working on the projector mount. Got that mounted and centered. Sam over here, being lackadaisical, sitting on his behind. Oh yeah, super lackadaisical. At least he's stripping some wire for us, huh? <laughs> it's an honest work. <laughs> And then uh, I'm gonna work on these fronts, put some pass-throughs on them. All right, so we had to do some creative engineering here. As you can see, we barely had clearance for our speaker. We had to etch out a stud or two, move some electrical cables, but uh, end of the day, we got it in there, client's happy. And we're about to throw the screen on top of it. Easy as that, folks. And then we'll press up from the bottom to get the uh, bottom to latch and center it. And we're good to go.
overhead.